Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about Triant PowerShell Kind Stealer RPMTB, a detection of Microsoft Defender that you may encounter after downloading things from the internet. It flags a rather dangerous malicious program designed to empty people's cryptocurrency wallets. In this video I will explain where it comes from and how to remove it. So let's define what exactly the detection means. Try and PowerShell kind stealer RPMTB is a detection of an info stealer malware. Such malicious programs are typically able to grab passwords and session tokens of all accounts present in the DAX system. However, the coin stealer part at the end suggests that it also goes specifically for credentials of cryptocurrency wallets that happen to be kept in the system. PowerShell designation at the same time shows that this malware executed through obviously PowerShell commands. Overall effects of Trine PowerShell coin stealer RPMTB activity are hard to notice at first glance. But just a few days later after the attack, you will see your accounts being hijacked. It does not stop on social media. Steam, Discord and accounts of other desktop apps will likely be stolen as well. And in this case, one will also see crypto wallets being drained in a day or two after the attack. This malware cannot steal crypto from the wallet directly, but hackers who stand behind it will do this once they have all the credentials. One important thing to address here is how the coin stealer try and spreads to user systems. There are quite a few ways for malicious PowerShell scripts to get into the computer. It can be built into a pirated game or a program, or into a strange app that is spread through malvertising. And malware developers constantly seek for new approaches. For instance, I've met malignant websites that ask the user to download and run the file to keep viewing the content, or even to copy the script from the browser window and run it in PowerShell or Common Prompt. But well, let's get to the most important part: the way to remove Try and PowerShell kind stealer RPMTB. As Microsoft Defender flags a genuine PowerShell instance in this detection, tracing the file is not really an option. And be sure, InfoStealers excel at hiding, so it is nearly impossible to find it manually. For that reason, I recommend scanning your system with Gridinsoft and Timelware. This program will quickly find and delete any malicious files, regardless of where they hide. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan. This way, the program will check the entire system, down to the most remote folders and even system configuration files. The scan will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click Clean Now to remove the detected malicious files. If there are a lot of detections, the removal may also take a minute or two. I will also recommend you to reset all your passwords. This way, even if the malware managed to do its dirty job, the hackers won't deal more damage. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.